This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Hi, in this video I'll be sharing the usual Rexis rescue technique, although with a slight modification. So what is this modification? Let's find out. So this is a case which is planned for fake emulsification and the rexis is being done. And suddenly it just decides that it wants to go to the equator. So I was using the needle and I needed to stop at this moment. It's important for us to realize that we need to stop at the right time because if it is too late we can't retrieve it and needle is not the right tool to deal with such a situation. The first thing to do is to put in OVD through the opposite port so that the anter capsule lies flat. So if you want to flatten the anter capsule, that's the first step. And then I need to do the rescue menu. That's a little rescue menu. I'm going to use a micro forceps through the other side port. But before that, I'm trying something new here. This is a technique which I read in some of the social messages. I'll just demonstrate the technique and then I'll let you know from whom I learned this technique. So I'm basically I'm using a spatula like instrument. This is basically a globe stabilizer which I use for stabilizing the globe which was there in the tray. And I'm using this to depress the sclera in the pass panel region exactly adjacent to the area where the tear has extended radially. The idea is to, to relax the zonules as the tearing process happens. So I'm introduced the forceps to the opposite side port so that the angle of attack is quite appropriate. At the same time, the scleral depression is going on. And now I grasp the flap and pull it centripetally, which it comes quite easily. Of course, this was possible even without scleral depression, but this is something which I tried and it seemed to work reasonably well. Let me tell you that I learned this technique through one of the social media discussions and Dr. Rajiv Raut from Pune had proposed this technique, that's what he uses. The idea is to depress the sclera so that the zonules are relaxed at that area. The pulling in of the capsule can be done much more effortlessly. That's the idea. And this was my first attempt and it just came off very well. So I'm going to try it on a few more cases whenever such a situation and opportunity arises. So let's relook at the maneuvers which I've done here. First thing is, I've just depressed the sclera adjacent to the area where the rexus is heading towards the equator. Now you can use a, a cannula, a spatula, any blunt instrument, just applying gentle pressure over that area. It's going to relax the zonules there and then using a forceps, the typical little maneuver is being done here. You fold the capsule flat, pull it centripetally, that's it. So this was a small lesson which I learned and I would want to share with you. In subsequent cases, I'm going to try it out in more cases. Now moving on to this case, the case was completed in a routine way. The hydrodissection is done and then the nucleus was emulsified. And rest of stuff is routine. The lens was implanted into the bag and the patient did well. Thank you for watching and hope this helps.